Hey everybody, it's Sandra D. Robinson with Charisma on Camera. This is Big Impact. And you know, some of the other questions that you guys were asking me had to do with editing. The good, the bad, the ugly. Do I really need it? Can I get it for free? Do I need to pay a professional? What do I do? Well, today we're gonna answer those questions because I have a member of my team here that's gonna help us out. Okay, so today I have grabbed one of my very valued team members for Charisma on Camera who actually has his own company called Shoot, Cut, Deliver. Sitting next to me is my buddy, Neil Newman. Neil shoots for me here in the Los Angeles and Southern California area, and he is a fabulous editor. And so we're gonna show some of the stuff that he's done just a little bit today, and we're gonna answer some of your most frequently asked questions about editing some of the footage and the video that you're shooting, because we love the fact that you are spreading your message and that you are sharing your value through your video now but you still have some of these questions like, do you really need to have an editor? How much do you need to spend? And what programs do you use? We're gonna cover all of that today. So Neil, thanks You're for welcome. spending the time. Great we're, to be here. We're taking over his, uh, his workspace here today. <laughs> so so we're, all, we're all huddled up in front of the monitors. But um, first off, people say, do I need to edit? Because there's some people that think, hey, I know what I'm talking about. I can go, I can shoot it, make it really clean. And do I really need to edit? Your thoughts. Um, definitely some simple editings, fade up from black, fade out to black, a simple title of who you are is always just really important it's and always good. very simple to do. Yeah. At the very least, this is how I look at it, at the very least, clean up at the beginning and a fade to black at the end. You know, preferably when you fade to black, put your website up there so that if it's on YouTube or somebody sends it to someone that you still have your information up there, putting your, your title underneath you. I, it's just important to have your information and, you know, and your branding on everything that you do uh, at the very least. And also, we're talking with experts and I'm sure that that's what you are. And so you want to have it a step above raw and the, the, you know, you want to have it as close to excellent as you can get. And if all you can do is make it clean at the beginning and the end, it's a little bit better than just Absolutely. throwing it out there as You'd is. You'd be surprised how that sets you apart from so many people. It really does. And, and we invite you to start watching people's videos right. and, and then you'll start noticing when you get into the editing a little more, you'll start to notice what people do. So the next question I get, uh, what, programs or software do I need in order to edit my my videos? And of course, you know, I don't mean to just push Apple products, but um, Mac is really easy. It's really easy. I mean, I learned it, you know, the basics in a very short period of time. So Mac has a program, right? iMovie, on... iMovie is stock, you know, essentially with Mac. Yep. And it's fabulous to do really all the things we just talked about. Yeah. Fast and, you, and efficient. You can, and if you happen to be shooting with an iPad, again, yeah. You know, I'm sorry, I don't mean to like promote one particular brand, but it's so easy. Yeah. Um, you can shoot with your iPad and you can edit. You can put iMovie on your iPad and edit it so you can do everything in one, you know, one object, which is fabulous. Now, if you don't have a Mac and we haven't converted you, <laughs> then, um, and you're on a PC, what do you do? Well, Windows Movie Maker is basically the stock app for Windows. And okay. again, you can do all the simple things that we talked about. Uh, and we can clean it up, you can clean, clean it, it up on your own. Put a title in, who you are and so forth, so it's all very Good. doable. Now this, on the screen right now, this is an example of iMovie, yep. I know, because yep. I am very familiar with this. Um, and I still have lots to learn. I know you can get yep. a lot deeper than I am into this, but I know the basic stuff. And I learned it pretty quickly, so that's awesome. Yep. Um, now a professional, because my next question people that we're going to go into is people say, do I need a professional and how do I know I need a professional to edit? And uh, the next pro program we're going to show in here is one that's a little bit more advanced. It's Final Cut or Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. Okay. It looks a lot more intricate. Yeah, something to like that. To me, it looks yeah. a lot more so intimidating. We, <laughs> we took a little more, uh, a little more advanced approach on this one. Nothing too complicated. We basically add some opening graphics. Hi, I'm Sue Koch, and I want to talk to you about something that is important to you as a business professional. Scrolling through, we put some little fun stuff here. You know, we, we add a little bit of a... Facebook, Twitter, blog, you put sounds and things like that. Yeah, I mean, this is something that, you know, is a little more advanced. It's it's quick for a professional editor to do, and yeah. so, again, the price is not going to be, like, over the top. If it's your ambition to become an editor or really get good at this, you just love it, you can go and, and you know, play with Final Cut, Final Cut Pro. That's not me um, at all. Yeah. And I know that a lot of you at home maybe just don't even have the time to consider learning another program. And the good thing is you don't have to because you've got people like Neil that can work with this program that looks really intricate to me yep. and, and create something really fabulous for you. And um, any comments on how they can go about, of course, if you're in the Southern California area, contact me 
or Neil will have his information for you, of course. And, um, and we can, you know, kind of talk you through whatever you need. But if you're not in Southern California, and a lot of you aren't, how do you find a good editor? Suggestions, advice? Um, the best way is Craigslist. I mean, go on Craigslist, really? type in video editor, uh, take a look at some of the sample work that they have. And that's important. It is. Uh, any reputable, you know, freelance video editor will have sample work. And it's important yeah. to look at their work and kind of get that warm and fuzzy feeling about the stuff they're doing. Yeah. So you feel good about having them take on your project. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So, and, and you want somebody that, um, this is just coming from me, you want somebody that sees your brand, that understands what you're trying to do, and, and you know, uh, and is kind of like a, you know, cooperating with you in those kind of things. So you want, like you said, that warm and fuzzy feeling. So, um, so there you go. Next is they're gonna, I know everybody's gonna be asking me this if we don't ask it here, yeah. and it's a touchy subject. How much do we need to spend right. in order to have an editor work on our stuff? And this right. can vary a lot, which is why yeah. I kind of hesitated to talk about it, but I know it's gonna be where we're gonna be asked. So, right. Neil? Well, you know, good advice uh, in terms of cost is a lot of editors will have kind of a base price to do something basic. It's when you want more specific things is when they'll start charging more hourly rates. Uh, hourly rates for video editors could be anywhere from $50 to $150. And you know they'll do a great job and, and the professional editor will get something done relatively quickly. So you know what you think might be overwhelming and overbearing, yes. a professional can get it done relatively quickly and get you the best value for it, so. Good, that said though, I mean, just so so you guys know, I sit with the editors a lot, and I've done that since I first started, you know, working with television hosts and entertainment reporters. I've sat and, and gone through the edit, right. and it really can be very intricate, and it, as you get, you know, more involved in, in things like, you know, maybe you wanna put in some B-roll, which is right. not necessarily what you're doing live, but maybe a photograph or something to showcase your product or your service or something, you know, another, a uh, bit of footage that you want to edit in. You start getting into those kind of things or multiple cameras and it really can take a lot of time. It becomes very intricate. So just so that you know, if somebody says, well, you know, you want a, a two minute, but you want all of this stuff and it's going to be and they give you a quote, please understand it. It is a lot of work. Um, the simple stuff is one thing, yeah. but if you start to get a little bit deeper into, you know, having things flashing up on screen and, and you know, it can look fantastic, but you're going to pay a little bit more for that because there really is an art to, to editing. So, um, with respect, you know, thank you. I look at what he does like, there's no way I can handle that. <laughs> and you do it without thinking about it. Like, I'm just looking at that screen going, yeah, glad that you understand that because I don't. So, any other questions that you have, anything that you want to add? Uh, no, just get your, get, get your video out there. That's the most important is to get it out there and yeah. make sure it's seen because, you know, thinking about doing it and doing it could be two different big things. And so. we want you to do it. Yeah, we want you to do it. We want you to there. get the message out there. Yeah. So, yeah, so any questions that you have, comments, anything further that you might need, definitely leave some comments here below um, and contact us or contact me and I'll get you in touch with Neil. Uh, either way. So we want to make sure that we support you and you get your message out there so you can make the impact that you were designed to make. All right, so until next time, I'm Big Impact. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Andrew D. Okay, ready? Okay, so today, everybody, I have somebody from my... All right, got it. Okay, you guys, so today I have somebody from my team who is here. I trust you. I do. Take 27. Okay. <laughs>